All right, folks, I'm Dan Coover along here with Chris, a.k.a. Chu, and we're going to be previewing the AL Central, which is the division I like to call the good, the bad, and the ugly, and we are going to figure that out and which teams fall into which categories. Chris, you want to start with the good? Yes, I'll start with the good. I think um, people have the Minnesota Twins as their favorite, um, the White Sox as the up-and-coming teams, and the Cleveland Indians, who've always been there, managed by Terry Francona, always seem to be a steady team in the division. Um, the bad, can't say Royals, and then my Detroit Tigers, the <laughs> ugly. But uh, yeah, let's jump on the let's jump on the White Sox, who I have as winning the division as my surprise team in over this division. The twins. You have the White Sox winning the division the over the Twins. Okay. Let's yes, I think they have a legitimate ace in Lucas Giolito. He's got nasty stuff. He started to break out the, towards the end of last season. I think he's going to carry it to this year. They got good young players coming up with Yohan Makan, who came up, uh, Eloy Jimenez, uh, Luis Robert. Um, they still have Jose Abreu. Tim Anderson was a, was a tank. They got a nice starting rotation with uh, Dallas Keuchel, like, like I said, Giolito. Um, they added Gio Gonzalez. They just got a nice uh, mix of veterans and young guys that just I think is going to translate to a bunch of wins. Yeah, and that's absolutely fair. I personally think the White Sox, they might just be one more year away, but there's a lot to like. And if this year is going to be a crazy year, which we've talked about in a lot of our videos, like a lot of weird things are going to happen. Yeah, I could absolutely see the White Sox winning the division. However, I'm going to go with the Twins just because I've seen them. They've proven that they're a really quality team. They have good pitching with Berrios and Odorizzi. You know, they've got obviously a good good lineup. They've got a lot of power in the lineup with guys like Sano and Josh Don Donaldson. Um, obviously, you know, getting Nelson Cruz, you know, in town as well is, is going to be going to be fun fun to see there. So I think they have a, a quality lineup. I think they've got good pitching um but ultimately you know i i just think they've proven that they can do it i think that they're going to win it but it wouldn't shock me if the white Sox won it let's talk about our good friends down in cleveland the cleveland i words um the i words all right let's talk about the i words yeah like oh i just there's just something missing from that team do you agree that it's just like it's tough to put into words um yes what ever, it is, ever but, since their world series appearance i feel like they just keep losing key players year after year after year. and they just, it just like it's dueling down to just Lindor and Jose Ramirez like they're not adding they're just losing yeah exactly so, and, and even like their manager Terry Francona like I feel like he's kind of a has-been too in, in some ways so it's just like they're just kind of like a team full of has-beens I don't got Shane Bieber fever I'm not particularly excited for them this year no I this is a good line I found on DraftKings uh Cleveland Indians to miss the playoffs is a minus 104. That is basically free money for a double in your money yeah. for the Indians not to make the playoffs. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, so I'm going to double my money. Dan, you're going to double my money? I'm going to I'll double put, money. I'll put, I'll put 50 bucks on that right now. Boom. Done. All right. Boom. As soon yeah. as the stream's done. All right. <laughs> Boom. But, yeah, I, I ultimately, yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I just think they – they kind of remind me of the Cardinals. Uh, of, they're kind of the Cardinals of the AL, I feel like, where it's like they could, but – you know, I just I don't really see it. I see them more as like a thirty-two and twenty-eight team this year. Um, let's talk about your Detroit Tigers, Chris. Oh um, man, what are the your ugly. thoughts on them? So I think they're going to be better than expected, but they're still going to be fourth, fifth place team. I think you know they add a bunch of power to the lineup, which they were desperately craving. Um, Miguel Cabrera. People think he, they say he looks good. And they say that every year, but um, watching him in inner squad scrimmage, he's he's late on fastball. He's striking out. Nothing really hard. He's hitting. Um, I just you know Tigers. They have really good pitching prospects that are coming up. That's what they should be excited for. Riley Green, Spencer Torkelson. Um, Tigers have a good future ahead of them, but still a few years off from being legit contenders. Which team do you think tries to trade for Matthew Boyd at the trade deadline this year? <laughs> Ooh, what team? I, I feel like Any he's going to be the target. That, um, I'll say the Houston Astros. Um, they like guys with miss, uh, you know, ability to get swings and misses. Um, they lost Garrett Cole, so they're trying to fill, you know, probably a spot in the rotation. I know Matt Boy can't do that, but I think a lot of teams will be looking for Matt Boy. He's a good pitcher, He'll give you six quality innings, a lot of strikeouts. Um, I think that's where the league's going nowadays. So. Yeah, you know, plus if the Astros a, a team get him, be lucky to have another, Matt Boyd. It's another good body for the Astros, you know, bang on trash cans and stuff like that in the dugout, which is obviously a very good thing for them. And then you have the Royals bringing up the rear this season uh, in the in the AL Central. 
Can you repeat that? Oh, yeah. Do you have the Royals bringing up the rear in the AL Central this year? Yeah. So the Royals, they got a few guys. Jorge Soler, Whit Merrifield, and some young pitching. They're just like the Tigers a little bit, you know. It's still a few, weird, few years away from contention, but uh, nothing legitimate this year. Yep, I'm with you. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you're watching on YouTube, you hit that subscribe button and that like button. And then like us on Facebook as well, 366 Sports. Follow us on Twitter at 366 Sports. And we'll see you guys next time.